Hi guys, I'm Jamal Stone. I'm Chantal Aids. We are on our way to Comic Con 2014, our very own custom made, donated by Chevy, Uber car with the Sonic the Hedgehog theme. Also, we have our superhero stuff, Batman shirts on. Chantal, are you excited? I'm uber excited! There's cosplayers, celebrities. Oh my god, Madame Tussauds, they have a little surprise. I can't wait to see it. Marvel's got some announcements. We're gonna see a whole bunch of panels. I'm excited. I can't wait. You ready to go with that? I think this is going to be uber awesome. Let's go. Let's go. It's meant to be a little tongue-in-cheek. I mean, we're never going to do cinema-level effects. That's just not going to happen. But the choice you make instead is, like, let's do an interesting one. Let's do an offbeat one. Let's do a version of this they haven't seen before. One of the things I loved about the movies were you, know, you, you have this great canvas of mythologies that you can tap into, Greek mythology, for example, uh, like the Judas uh, chalice, stuff like that, yeah. and vampires, of course. What do you guys have planned? What type of mythologies? There's, there's, there's actually a moment where he's trying to explain when he's It's because I, I, I worked on the third one. He's trying to explain magic, and they go, so a vampire is real? Uh, so Dracula is real. No, Dracula's not real. I killed him. Vampires. Is this helping? Like he's, like, he's just not good at explaining this at all. It's basically a show where everyone, you have the tradition of, like, welcome to the magical world, and all your guides are either insane or mean. Like, they just don't, there's no, there's no Dumbledore. They just, they really don't want you there. Um, the the fun of it was we spent the first week or two in the writer's room just put up not just every myth but every weird conspiracy every legend so there's bigfoot there's tesla there's the bermuda triangle there's mummies like and and so it was essentially each version because because when we break stories it's what emotional story do we want to tell about the character now which one of these fits you know the fairy tale episode fairy tales are about archetypes and this is about them learning who they are now and, and kind of falling into archetypes and seeing if that really defines them or not. You know, each episode has a very specific theme. Uh, and then we would sometimes take stuff, like I was, I was talking about the science fair episode, it's like, uh, science fairs are really big now and kids are inventing all this. So we originally had like a kid invents something out of control and a coven episode. And we're, we just, and we literally took the cards and put them together and went, oh, well that's an episode right there you haven't seen before. You know, the fun of the show really is we try to spot weld tropes together that you've seen a million times in new combinations. Cool. Was there any idea that was thrown out that you thought was way over the top? There was literally no idea that was too way over the top. <laughs> there was literally no two idea. Um, there's ideas we didn't get to do. I was heartbroken we did not get to do the selfie of Dorian Gray. Like that one, that one, that one may still come back. Um, the, uh, that one may still come back. We had a great one about Ondines and, and sort of like a Detroit being abandoned into Last the supernatural. Question. Yes, ma'am. Um, so she's so mean. Yeah. <laughs> but no, everything's fair game. Everything's fair game. And that's part of the fun of the show. It's a lot of writers I've worked with who are fantasy writers that other shows, and again, you have to have a machine for a show that the network understands. On Grimm, we hunt monsters. On Warehouse 13, we look at the thing. We had the freedom of, you know what? You're going to show up every week. Something weird's going on. We'll figure it out. <laughs> sometimes it's vampires. Sometimes it's Tesla's death ray. It's never aliens. But everything else is fair game. <laughs>